Hey everyone, Mason here. Look at the bottom left corner, version 2.0.0, with a nice little star. I like, I really like nice little touches like that. So we're gonna be playing some Grand Prix. Grand Prix. I said Grand Prix as a kid, and my cousin was like a homie. He let me know that it was pre and not pricks, and that prick is a bad word. I would have gotten in so much trouble if like just anyone in my family caught me using that. Thank you yet again to my cousin. Like, I don't even know how many years later. We were playing on the N64, that's how long ago it was. So we got Paris Promenade from Tour. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Toad Circuit from 3DS. Really excited to see a 3DS track. I want to see more tracks of Mario Kart 7 because I only briefly got to play it. But man, the track slapped. Choco Mountain from N64, which was one of my favorite tracks as a kid. Mario Kart 64 was my first Mario Kart. Summoning Salt made some really cool Mario Kart 64 speedrun videos along with, I think, Bismuth and some others. Um, but yeah, Summoning Salt, I think, had a Choco Mountain history video, which is really cool. And then Coconut Mall, which is the one I'm most excited for. We is I have not played much Wii. I did play through all tracks and all Grand Prix last year and had a really great time. Wii is an amazing Mario Kart and just an amazing game. I think it's a little overrated. I think the people that like trash eight and like praise Wii like it's the best thing to ever happen or kind of capping, but it's a really good game. The driving is incredible in Wii. I just really dislike the items and I wish there were more tracks. But it's a really well-made Mario Kart, especially for its time. I think it revolutionized the driving in the series as a whole. Just a ton. It feels amazing to drive in Wii. But without further ado, let's tackle the Golden Dash Cup. I'll do the other DLC Wave Cup that came out in a separate video. I'm going to do Grand Prix videos for each cup that comes out. At least I plan to. I want to do Staff Ghosts, and then I want to tackle 200cc Grand Prix and then 200cc Staff Ghosts. So I think those could be fun videos, but wow, this track is really pretty. It's a little rough around the edges, but it was looking promising there for a bit. I don't know. I don't know if I'm hating. I don't know if I'm not hating. We'll have to see, but it looked really pretty at first. And then I was like, oh God. So I don't even know where to go. There's tons of different places to go on this track. God, this is so weird. I'm just gonna use the coin because I'm not at max. I usually like to hold my coins because it guarantees the second item you pull will be protection. And if a boo targets you, your coin is basically like protection for your protection, if that makes sense. Something's coming for me. I can cycle it here. God, this is so confusing. I like that it's a highway. I really like highway-ish tracks. Not really, um, what's it called? Toad's Turnpike, but pretty much everything else. I thought I heard a blue for a second. It's hard to hear when I'm talking because I hear myself a bit. But yeah, this track looks really nice in some areas. It's just like, I don't really know. It has nice colors, but as for if it looks as good as other Mario Kart 8 tracks, I really don't know. I'll have to look at it more as I play more. Oh god. I'm so glad I have this build that has tons of steering and mini turbo, because like everything is super lenient. Oh god. Wait, glider section, let's go. So if you're mini. You go basically the same speed on gliders, and while you drive past other people here, so if you really want to grave someone and you know what you're doing, you could do it. Sandbagging could be funny on this track. I'm just going to go for this left double. This feels like a Garfield kart track. I never thought I'd say that in my life. Get the double here. I like the music a lot. It reminds me of the uh, Chansey minigame in Pokemon Stadium, I think, too. Those games are really good. Didn't build a mini turbo there. Just toss this. 
Okay, yeah, I really like how the driving on that track feels. I don't know if I like the looks of it at points. It looks a little bit rough around the edges. It looks like they definitely tried to get this track out fast. I don't know. It's a tour track, so I don't know how much of it is directly ported. I tried to play tour a few years ago, but I hated how the controls felt and how my thumbs like take up screen real estate. So I can't see in those areas at all. This baby daisy's got the meta. They got the uh, wiggler. My brain remembers this as like a Mario Kart Wii track because there is one that's kind of similar to this. With like this big pipe you drive on the side of. I'll just trap these doubles, get a better item. Since I'm in second. Oh, that's so cool. This track has some, yeah, it has similar shortcuts to the track I'm thinking of. It's a nice short track. It's pretty basic. I like the uh, Toad floats a lot. I really like high mini turbo on this track too. Lighter mini turbo. Oh, is it different every, oh God, it's, I drove into my own Nana, of course. When you trap the double so well, you hit yourself. I can't tell if he tried to hit me there or not. I couldn't, like, see anything. I couldn't see the double. So I'm going to hold this. It's good to hold your coin so that if there's a single item box, like, right up ahead, my next pull will always be protection. So I'm going to pop this now to get one coin and then have a banana guaranteed. Didn't do much there, but... You know, at least in principle, if I didn't... I can get, like, a purple mini turbo here. Yes! So much speed. Yeah, in principle, it's just a good thing to do. I would usually hold on to my coin there in case, like, a boo tried to take one of my items, but there's no need. I wanted to hit my... I wanted to, like, make it bounce. I don't know. Just mess around a bit. I think this track looks good. I think it definitely looks better visually than the last track a little. Still, like, rough in some areas. I do like the overall look of some of them. OBS is telling me encoding overloaded, so I'm going to close some stuff. Oh, Choco Mountain, that's right. Let's go. Oh, and they, they added little uh, paratroopers. Yoshi's egg. What about Angel's egg? That was a really weird anime movie that I watched a while back. It was pretty good. Just like really weird, and you don't want to watch it while you're tired. Like it's intentionally weird. It's like an art housey sort of anime film. And if you're bored and you just want something to watch, then I recommend it. Oh god. Wanted to go for the double, but that's fine. But yeah, you want to hold your coin here so that you pull protection next, and Abu can like steal your coin and leave whoever took it farther behind. This is a really well remade. This track was remade really well. Oh my god, the homie red. Let's go. And now we use it and pull protection with uh, 10 coins. I love these little cave sections. This is definitely the winner so far of the tracks. I might be biased because I have a lot of nostalgia for 64. I kind of hate how it plays. I do not like how it handles at all. It's like... The tracks I feel like aren't made for the speed that you get. That almost, that kind of jump scared me. They got me before boxes, so that's good. But yeah, I feel like the handling in that game feels really weird and I don't like it. So it, it's like, it's not a game I can go back to, but I can respect it for what it did for me growing up. You know what would be sick in a Mario Kart game? If they uh, made it like an overworld, if they made it more open world and you just like drive between different areas and different tracks. But they made it huge, so there was like always tons to do, and it would add a ton of replay value to like the main story. And you could do that stuff online too. That would be fun. What of that mushroom? I'm trying to avoid this. Yeah, I went as wide as possible. But I probably wanted, should have went narrow there. I got shocked there in the same spot twice. That's crazy. I'm gonna use this just to get to ten coins. I don't see a blue, so I'm just going to trail this in case, like, there's a really hard-to-react-to thing. 
But nice, we beat Luigi. I have not watched actual gameplay that much. I just glance at my phone screen when I'm at work and like watch streams in the background. But it seems like everyone I've seen who either sets up a friend lobby or does the Grand Prix themselves. Like out of the two people I've seen do this, both of them had Luigi as their second. So that's crazy odds that I got it too. Unless they're trying to, you know, bring back angry Luigi. Death stare Luigi. I'm so excited for this. Coconut Mall, the theme slaps. Oh, nice. You can trick off those like I thought. This one, like, the way it plays feels really nice. I'm trying to go to the right side. I don't know why my game, like, resisted me so much. Hold up. Smart steering, tilt controls, and auto acceler off. So, like, I don't know. They got shy guys instead of me's. The me's were hilarious. I missed them already. Tried to trick, but I got an awkward angle. This game wants me to have no coins. Give me that singular coin. I'm down bad. Let's go. I got it. Singular coinage. I want to like trick off the sides of these to get like a low trick. Finally, I can go down here. This is where I wanted to go because I think it's faster. Oh God. Sometimes they're, they put them in really awkward spots. So even though they're not driving back and forth, they're still pretty imposing. That's the thing about playing with CPUs. You just get shocked over and over and over and over. Just like, I don't know. Break a bit so I can get that coin and go up there. One weakness of like max excel builds is they really lack top speed, so you want to just get it up as quick as possible. God, that pillar is so sketchy. I'm gonna hold on to my protection. Just drive tight here. That was so much fun. I love these courses. I am so glad that this is so faithfully remade and it feels so good. Coconut Mall is one of my favorite tracks in the series. So like, I almost want to cry tears of joy at this being added back. It's so good. Let's see the uh, cup results screen. I want to see the trophy because they're going to be patching in more trophies naturally. Look at my zoom. Look at my zoomies. I love playing lightweights and midweights because they have so much uh, mini turbo and good steering. Okay, that was perfect. I'm <laughs> skipping the reel on that. This is a cool background. Yeah, like the actual background and art for this look really nice, but like the courses themselves, they don't look as good as the base Mario Kart 8 Deluxe courses in my opinion, but they still look pretty good. This game is still really pretty overall. Look at Peach and Yoshi. I always thought that expression from Peach looked creepy. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you want to support the video, leaving a like would help get it shown to more people. With that said, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Take care.